Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is October 17, Thursday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time, and also the memorial of St. Ignatius of Antioch, bishop and martyr. The Gospel said, Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them, and you do the building. Let me read first and reflect on it after. But first... The first reading is from the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 21 to 30. Brothers and sisters, now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, though testified to by the law and the prophets, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction, all have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. They are justified freely by His grace through the redemption in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as an expiation through faith by His blood to prove His righteousness because of the forgiveness of sins previously committed through the forbearance of God to prove His righteousness in the present time, that He might be righteous and justify the one who has faith in Jesus. What occasion is there then for boasting? It is ruled out. On what principle? That of works? No, rather on the principle of faith. For we consider that a person is justified by faith apart from works of the law. Does God belong to Jews alone? Does He not belong to Gentiles too? Yes, also to Gentiles, for God is one, and will justify the circumcised on the basis of faith, and the uncircumcised through faith. Responsorial Psalm The response is, With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness that you may be revered. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord more than sentinels wait for the dawn. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Gospel is from Luke chapter 11, verse 47 to 54. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets, whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them, and you do the building. Therefore the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute, in order that this generation might be charged. With the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law! You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and the Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them and you do the building. There are things in our society that are happening right now. These things are condemned by the church and the Catholic teachings, but we do not do anything about it. We are just silently accepting what is happening, like the killings and the blatant disregard for the law. When we do nothing about it, 
we somehow give consent to what is happening too. That's all for now. If you like these kinds of videos, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any future uploads. Have a great day and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.